Hi, I'm Scott Stein, Senior Associate Editor at CNET.com, and this is the Dell Vostro V130, a slim, small business oriented laptop that could be pretty interesting if you're in the market for a very thin laptop this holiday season. Now, not so long ago, Dell had a Vostro V13, which was a very similar looking thin 13 inch laptop that kind of was everything that we wanted in an Adamo, but at a more affordable price. The V130 upgrades the internal processor and adds a couple of new feature wrinkles like HDMI out into a package that's very similar. It weighs 3.5 pounds, it feels very lightweight, has a nice aluminum and magnesium alloy chassis to it which give it a really nice professional feel, doesn't have an optical drive. Internally the processors range up to a Core i3 or Core i5 ULV processor so that runs slightly less of the speed of a standard voltage and also it's only Intel integrated graphics, there's no dedicated graphics per se on these laptops and no optical drive. On the other hand what you've got is a really nice lightweight laptop with a slim design and a really nice matte screen as well which is kind of rare on ultra portables, a lot of people choose glossy. The keyboard's great, the trackpad's a little bit small, but it's functional, and the ports, interestingly, are all located along the back in a little jutting strip, which could be nice if you're docking this in a desk. could be a little annoying if you're using it on your lap. The prices range. They can get a little pricey up in the high configurations, especially if you're using an SSD instead of a regular hard drive, but overall, this could be a really interesting option if you're looking for a super slim laptop. On the other hand, if you're shopping for that, would you maybe consider an even thinner MacBook Air? Possibly, but definitely if you're in the market for this type of thing, take a look at the Dell Vostro V130. It could be worth your while. I'm Scott Stein, and this is an advanced look at the Dell Vostro V130. Hi, I'm Molly Wood, host of The Buzz Report, the show about the tech news that everybody's talking about. See it every Friday in high def at cnet.com slash buzzreport.